My name is Aaron Wood, and you're watching Average Joe Sports Talk. Well, well, it's the big show. Yes, it's a big bad show tonight. Aaron Keith Wood, and I play defense end from Gaston Football. So let's talk about your size for a minute, Aaron. Um, tell everybody, first of all, how old you are, what grade you're in, and how tall you are, and how much you weigh. I'm uh, 15, I'm in ninth grade, and I'm 6'4 and a half, and weigh 255 pounds. So you haven't been, uh, let's see, when did you turn 15? Uh, at the end of July. So you just turned 15. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, awesome. Uh, so you actually played varsity last year in eighth grade. Talk about that experience. And, you know, most people are are just dreaming of playing JV at that age, and you're actually in, on varsity. Talk about that experience last year and what that was like for you. I was nervous, but after, <laughs> after a few plays, it got easy and easier over and on. You got used to it mm -hmm. over, over a short period of time there. Um, so you actually was invited. Um, Carnell reached out to Coach Swain Morris for you to come to the Auburn camp. You also attended the Alabama camp over the summer. Talk about those two experiences and, and what you learned at each. Uh, Auburn, that was really good. It helped me with my speed. And I got to learn a few moves defensive-wise. And then Alabama, I, got, I learned things I even, didn't even know about. <laughs> but. It was, it was good. I liked the camp. So you actually went and played offense only at Alabama mm -hmm. and then went and played defense at Auburn. Yeah. Now that's nice. I really like that right there. Um, a lot of people don't get invited to play both. I mean, that's pretty unique, pretty awesome. Uh, talk about the difference in your mindset and uh, just the way you feel with maybe a little bit more confidence going from your eighth grade year over into your ninth grade year playing varsity. Uh, I, it's gotten a lot better. I mean, this year. I mean, last year, if I played offense right now, I wouldn't think I wouldn't be able to block a senior. Right now. <laughs> but now I feel a hundred times confident, way better. All right, I like that. Um, all right, we gotta know. How'd you get the nickname Tater? Um, I was a little, <laughs> little baby. I, I just used to eat a bunch of mashed potatoes all the time. Anything. Says if it had mashed potatoes in it, then I ate it. Anything potato, you're good. Mm -hmm. I like it. So is it tater or potato? Tater. Tater. Yeah. All right. All right. So you also collect shoes. That's one of your hobbies, correct? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite pair of shoes? And before you answer that, what, what size shoe do you currently wear? I uh, wear size 15. My cleats are 16. Whew. All right. And all that collection you got, what's your favorite pair of shoes you got? Uh, LeBron 12s. LeBron, LeBron Soda 12s. I like it. Uh, all right. So now um, you're in the beta club as well. Um, obviously a good student in school, like school a lot. What is your overall favorite subject in school? Uh, math, because it's super easy. Math, it's easy to you, but not mm -hmm. to people like me. <laughs> <laughs> so now you play right tackle on offense. Uh, you play defensive end on defense, nose guard, and linebacker. Out of all of those, what is your absolute favorite position to play and why? Uh, DN. Because 
I mean, I get to hit somebody. I mean, <laughs> and then if I and then if I do good enough at hitting, them, then I get to get the tackle. Now then, I like it. So you don't you don't go in there just to knock somebody out. You actually wrap them up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you ever thought how different your life would be if you didn't play any sports? No. If I, <laughs> if I didn't, I'd probably be a loser. So. <laughs> Now that's funny. I don't think you're gonna be a loser, man, because you're in Beta Club. Uh, now let's talk about. But when I say the word Swain Morris, uh, what does that mean to you? And what is Swain Morris? You know, he's your head coach. For those who don't know, what what has Swain Morris meant to you? Because he actually recruited you. Um, your, your mother told me he recruited you when you was in fifth grade uh, and brought you along to be his water boy. So you're obviously pretty close to him. What has he meant to you, not only as a coach but a mentor? Uh, he's as I, mean, I like him a lot. He he knows what he's doing. He knows he and he helps me get better and better every day. That's all awesome. the years I got way better because of him. Have you talked about you know even life lessons away from football? I'm sure with him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. All right. Um, now you also play basketball, right? Is that mm -hmm. correct? Uh, what's the chances of us seeing you on the baseball field this year? Mm, it's, <laughs> it's slim. It's slim. <laughs> now we heard a story from your mom. That you actually wanted to play baseball, but they couldn't find a glove for you around here. Is that mm -hmm. correct? <laughs> That's awesome. So if, if anyone out there is listening and, and has a big left-handed, yeah, big left -handed anybody out there listening has got a huge left-handed glove. We we definitely he definitely wants to play baseball, but he don't have the equipment. Um, all right, here's a here's a question we always find unique. If you had no no practice, no nothing to do, and you were completely off and away from the game. Um, what would you be doing? What is your hobby? Uh, I'd either be going playing best with my friends or going kayaking. So kayaking is one of them? Um, or you're going to be playing some sort of sport even though you're away okay. from sports? I like it. Um, after your football career, you know, um, who knows? You may go to the NFL one day. After that, what career do you think you want to get into? Uh, probably try to be like a personal trainer or something. Oh, okay. Physical yeah. therapy. Well, if you look behind you there, Dr. Sparks is the sponsor of the show. We might can hook that up for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get to know you a little bit better on a personal level. What's your favorite movie of all time? Uh, Forrest Gump. Nice. Nice. All right. Favorite artist or musician? Like, could be a band, a rapper, somebody. Uh... Probably The Rock. The Rock. Uh, let's see. Favorite car? Car. Probably Camaro. Camaro. What's your favorite TV show? TV show. Probably The World's Strongest Man in History. The, uh, Brian Shaw and all that. Man. What's your favorite quote of all time? Uh, there's no greater feeling than moving man from point A to B against his will. Mmm. Love it. Favorite breed of dog ever? Uh, Pitbull. Mm hmm. Favorite food to eat? Uh, that's, uh, potato casserole. That's what it is. With the nick with the nickname Tater, that has to go in there somewhere. Favorite superhero ever? Uh, Wait, probably, so, yeah, probably the Hulk. Yeah, the Hulk. Eh, I mean, he's pretty pretty good. He's the close second to Captain America, but we'll go with mm -hmm. the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite spot to vacation at uh, that you've ever been to? Panama City. Panama City. Who's your favorite pro athlete of, of all time? Uh, Could be any sport. Probably Larry Allen. Uh, is the rock guard from the uh, Dallas Cowboys? Yeah, Dallas yeah. Cowboys. Okay, all right. Um, favorite soda to drink? I don't drink sodas. You don't drink sodas? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite drink besides water? Uh, they got to be something out there. Chocolate milk. I mean, chocolate milk. All the time. Beautiful. All right, this is going to be a tricky one right here. Your favorite pro wrestler of all time? Pro wrestler. I mean, I used to watch the Big Show all the time. The Big Show. I think he's got a thing for the Bruisers and Big Guys. Yeah, man. Uh, with pit, he's answered pit bulls, and, <laughs> uh, the Rock, and yeah. the Show. He's just got a, a thing for Big Guys. I like it, man. Uh, all right, this may be a tough one for you right here. Where is your favorite place to shop at? Like, if you're gonna go shopping, you got some money. Mm. Just could be clothes, could be sports and sporting goods. It could be. You know, Car parts, something that you do. Where, where's your favorite place to shop? It's kind of hard because I mean, I, there's not a lot of places that carry my size. Anymore, <laughs> so. Clothes wise, I can see that. Yeah, uh, it's not the video game store, obviously, because you got too <laughs> yeah. much to do. 
probably a Ross or something because I always carry a size a bigger 15. size. Yeah, I always yep. carry a size 15 shoe or above. That's true. They do. That's true. All right. So now, yeah, I got I got two more questions for you. Um, give us a personal goal that you have set for yourself this season. Uh, something during the off season that you set that you know you wanted to do what at the by the, at, by the end of this year. Um. Mainly not trying to miss any blocks. I'm gonna to try to get all the blocks I can. I mean, I don't want to try to miss one, blow the play, and then defense. I don't know how many tackles I'm gonna get. We'll probably find out. But. All right. So this is the first time we've got to ask this on this channel or our our YouTube channel. Um, if you come down and you sit in the same seat when you're a senior year, I want you to give me a promise, uh, something that you're gonna do, whether it be. You know, go be playing at the next level, you know, win a state championship, be all area, all state. G give me something that you can guarantee is going to happen before you leave Gaston. Uh, hopefully make the playoffs. I want, I want to go to the playoffs bad. But, so between now and your senior year, you're going to go to the playoffs? Yes. All right. And we appreciate it. Thank you so much.